Hey guys, so don't mind the hair. <laughs> I just woke up. Last night, Camille had her babies and um, it's my first litter of purebred Crimity Argents. So uh, we did count them last night. I was a little concerned because she actually had 12, but uh, two of them, she, um, it looked like she ate them, but uh, honestly, they looked like there was something wrong with them. So there were 10 though that were really big and healthy looking. I'm hoping that those 10 are all okay. She didn't pull a whole lot of hair, but it was really kind of late last night and I was kind of nervous to like, to like jump in because I didn't know if I was gonna like be stressing her out. So anyway, I'm gonna go out and we're going to see the Crim de Argent babies and hopefully, hopefully everybody's okay. All right, so this will be the moment of truth when we figure out if she's taking care of them. Okay guys, hopefully you're able to see this. It's a little bit bright. Look at those. I was, I was so surprised. I don't know why, because I should have been, I should have been expecting this, but I was so surprised when they were just all pink, because I'm so used to black babies. They're so cute. I'll hold one for you guys so you can see it. Look at it. How cute is that? I just like to cover them up so they stay nice and warm. So yay, our first litter of Creme de Argents. Hey, good job, Miss Camille. You're hiding behind the feeder. All right guys, so it has been four days since Camille had her babies. They are so cute. They're starting to be like a little bit more red. I think creams are usually, uh, they're born and they kind of develop a reddish color, like a fawn color. And then as they get older, they start looking like Miss Camille up there. Um, where they start kind of silvering out, but it's not really silver, it's like a cream uh, ticking. I just wanted you guys to see how adorable they are at four days old, and I'm gonna put them back so she doesn't get stressed out. I did fail to mention that we actually lost one this morning, and that was kind of sad. I came out here, and it was just on the wire, so I don't know what happened. We have a lip on our nest box, um, but it looks like it may have just like gotten out of the nest box somehow and just kind of chilled because it didn't look like it had like broken bones or anything like that it just looked like it was cold so i actually did take it and i took it into the house and i put it in a little bag and i put it in a bowl of um, warm water and i was trying to bring it back to life and it just didn't it was too late so um, that was really kind of disappointing, but we do still have nine very healthy little cream babies, so that is really, really good. It's just been a tough litter for her this time, losing, she's lost three so far, but she still has nine. A couple of other updates that I have done since I last talked to you guys is I've actually wrapped the rabbit hutch on three sides with clear sheeting. It's kind of like what I'm doing for winterizing my hutch, but obviously it's not completely winterized yet. The front still needs done. What I think I'm gonna do to the front is I think I'm gonna get like PVC and kind of make a sh makeshift curtain rod and I'm gonna attach the clear sheeting onto the PVC and I'm gonna try to make some type of hand crank. So that way, whenever it is gonna rain or if there's a blizzard this winter or whatever, I can like crank it down and the rabbits are completely covered. I still need to like figure out how all of that is gonna be happening because <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet, but so far, I think that they like the sheeting on the, the back and the sides, so. I need to make a video on what rabbits we have now because obviously it's changed so much here since I've made my Meet My Silver Fox Rabbits video. And we have so many different rabbits now, um, different names of everybody, but that, that's a video for another time. That's not today, but I really do need to update you guys on who's who and our plans for this next coming year. So I'll try to make that video maybe at the beginning of next year. 
just as a an update. <laughs> My buggy. I run in the dog. Oh god. Mm, don't lick me. You're eating gross stuff out here. <laughs> the dogs just went to the vet yesterday. They have their yearly uh, stool sample and, and heartworm test. Heartworm test came back ne negative, which is what you want. <laughs> and uh, their stool sample came back with hookworm and coccidia. Neither of them are showing signs of having either, but the vet said she wouldn't really worry about it. It usually just passes straight through them. And they probably got it from eating rabbit poop. So that's just great. So one really cool thing that happened uh, after the tattooing video, which I think was my last video actually. Sorry guys, I'm like way, way behind. I've been so busy doing so many things. But a cool thing that happened is after my tattooing video, All Things Bunnies saw my video and they loved it, which is amazing because uh, I love I love the, the business. I, I love All Things Bunnies. I've been a huge fan of them for ever since I started back up in Rabbits last year. I just love their products. Um, and they reached out to me and they want me to be their first ever brand ambassador. So I'm like, yeah, duh, of course. So um, basically what I just need to tell you guys about is uh, stuff that they're doing. And so one of the really fun things that they're doing for the month of October is they're actually hosting a rabbit Halloween costume contest. <laughs> And also you can do guinea pigs as well. I also have guinea pigs. I really need to highlight them more, but um Sorry, my dogs are going crazy, but if you guys want to join in on the rabbit Halloween costume contest go to their Facebook page and just um, I think the details are on there and um, I'll try to link the flyer in the description down below, but this is for 2020 so like a couple years from now when you guys are watching this video it will no longer be valid, <laughs> but um But yeah, that's going on this month, so dress your rabbits up, and that, that should be a really fun thing to watch. But I'm just so ecstatic about being an ambassador for... Oh my gosh. This is what I'm trying to contend with right now. If you guys have ever seen my feeders or my twist-on bowls, or crocs, whatever you want to call them, Um, they actually come from All Things Bunnies, and um, I am like a huge like color-coded person Like it just makes my heart happy to like have everything be color-coded So I've been trying to have my boys get teal and my girls get purple or just have like purple and teal just be like every other cage type of thing. I don't know why I just think it just looks really good But if you guys are wanting some of the same supplies that I have you can actually get on all things bunnies And you can purchase these things and they have like a ton of other stuff on there, too You guys obviously saw my tattoo pen um, that came from them and yeah, so uh, All things bunnies amazing and you guys will be seeing more products from them in the future So I tried making a vlog for the Hillsboro, Ohio show that sprig who is That one, you can't see him, but he just got best of breed at that show, so that was extremely exciting. I'm so, so happy that my rabbits are getting awards like that. Onyx got best opposite sex in August, and then Sprig just got best of breed in September, and I'm like thinking I must be doing something right, so I'm just really excited about my silver foxes, how well they're doing at shows, so. There's a show happening in Danville, Indiana on Halloween. Halloween is actually my birthday and I am planning on going. Jameson's gonna go with me and we are gonna vlog it. It's a triple open show. Um, if any of you are going, please let me know because that would be awesome to meet up with any of you. I'm going to that one and I'm gonna vlog it and I'm gonna tell you guys how you can enter a rabbit show because I just feel like there's not enough videos or how to's on how to do it because to somebody coming into the rabbit hobby, it can be like super confusing on how to actually go to a show and like what you do and all of that. So um, look for that in November because obviously it won't be up in October because it's the last day of October that it's happening. So um, look for that video in November for sure because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Anyway, let's get up and let's go see if we have any eggs and I'll show you Hollyhock's babies and I'll show you the rest of the grow outs. My mom and I usually go shopping in the fall every year um, because we love sweaters. 
Um, fall is kind of our season for fashion. I just got this brand new Carhartt coat and I am absolutely in love. Coats are one of those things where I never, I never spend money on them because well, I don't know why. I really should. I live in Indiana, right? But I tend to buy really cheap coats that end up falling apart after the season is over. And this one, <laughs> I don't think it's going to fall apart. So I'm really, really happy to have Carhartt finally. It looks awesome and it should be great for feeding the rabbits this winter when it's really cold out. I also got this hat. It's really cute. Sorry, I know that you guys are not here for fashion, but I'm just like really excited about it. All right, so this is Miss Hollyhock and her current litter. And she is probably a little over a week pregnant now with her next litter. I just wanted her to go ahead and be bred just so we can have one more litter with her before it gets really cold out. That will probably be the last litter that we do with Miss Holly all winter long. And I'll probably just let her live with one of her daughters all winter. Uh, one of her daughters from the next litter, that is. Hollyhock is one of those rabbits, I've explained this in past videos, but I really do believe that she is the most happiest when she is a very pregnant rabbit and when she has little tiny babies in the nest box. She just seems like that's her job and like she loves it. Because when she doesn't have babies, little babies that is, she just seems like she's very discontent. But she loves having babies, right? I've had a lot of questions lately about my rabbit tractors. Next year when it gets warmer, I'll probably end up showing you guys how to make one of these because I'm probably going to need a third one. But I've made my rabbit tractors in a way that um, it's not actually attached to this down here. Um, like, it actually doesn't have a floor. The only thing that the rabbit tractor has, like, wire-wise, is this garden wire right here. And this is just, like, a perimeter thing. So, and you can see it kind of down here as well, right there. That is just for when it sits on the grass, so they can't dig out. It discourages them from digging out. Um, but the rest of it, like, all of this hardware cloth, is just the stand right here. And I actually have my other stand laying over there. I don't want my little babies hanging out on wet grass, um, especially when they're under seven to eight weeks old. Since these guys are, I think, five weeks old, um, they are hanging out in the tractor on the stand. And I'll show you the other tractor um, that's laying in the grass, but basically my husband and I, we just lift these up onto the stands using this rope right here. And that's the same rope I used to like pull it around, um, pull it around the yard and get them fresh grass. But, but yeah, so I find that it works really, really well. Uh, this winter when the grass is obviously soaked and muddy and all that, um, we'll probably have both of the tractors up on the stands just to keep the rabbits dry. But right now it's not too wet, so until then, um, these guys will be moving to the grass here in like, uh, probably two or three weeks or so. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I've had so many questions about them lately. Um, but I'll show you the one on the grass. Okay, so here is the same, exact same design of tractor, just on the grass. Um, so no stand, it's just sitting on the ground. And this is where that uh, garden wire comes in handy. So basically it just discourages them from digging anywhere near the, the perimeter and getting out. So these are our meat rabbits. These are the rest of the meat rabbits that we have. This is the last litter of crossbreds that we'll have for probably a long time now since we have um, purebred creams and purebred silver foxes. In case any of you rabbit people are wondering, the crossbreeds, Creme d'Argent Silver Fox Cross, tends to grow much, much slower than a purebred silver fox. I found that really, really interesting. I um, thought you guys might as well. We don't sell them. We don't breed crossbreeds into our purebreds ever. That's not something that I do. I've had a lot of people ask me about that as well. We only use crossbreeds for meat, just in case you were wondering. These guys are very cute. I think that it's completely fine to think that your meat is cute. There's nothing wrong with that. I would much rather have meat that I know lived a happy life than something that was cramped in a factory. 
I'm gonna do a video on that sometime, guys. I have to show you guys something kind of funny. So our chickens have started laying eggs, and I told you that. Chickpea likes to lay her eggs within the tomatoes. So every day, I have to look in her little tomato egg nest <laughs> to find an egg. She's still laying the prettiest green eggs. This one's a little bit dirty, but I just love my chickens. They're so cool. Another thing that is exciting is that our chickens have finally learned how to use the nest box. So look, little egg in the nest box. Two pretty eggs today. I love multicolored eggs. I think they're so neat. You good boy? Yeah, I'm a good dog. I'm a good dog. <laughs> Ari, stop eating poop. That's why you have hookworms. As usual, I have crowded up parts of the deck, but here is the wraparound stairs. I'm loving it. I think it looks so good. I mean, obviously it's dirty and the chickens think that this is their playground, but it will eventually be sanded down and stained like a dark wood color. Um, I just think it looks really good though, like the whole structure as a whole. I think we did a good job for amateurs. You guys, this is Nitro. Nitro is Cole and Bella's son, and he is literally one of the sweetest baby bunnies that I have ever bred, or even held for that matter. He's, he's the most sweetest thing ever. So I, I really love him. It's always the bucks that I love. I just can't stop hoarding little bucks because they're just so cute. But this one though, He's huge for one, he's so much bigger than the rest of his litter and he's gigantic. So I'm really kind of expecting him to do kind of good at shows. He's got pretty good type. So we'll see, because I'm gonna take him to the Halloween show. So we'll see how he does. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I know it was just kind of like updates and whatnot, but um, it was a fun one for me. So just hanging out in the backyard enjoying our little tiny suburban farm. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below with anything that you might want to see for me in the future. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.